Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff. And in today's video, we are diving into Cricut Design Space's new combined tools. Now these tools have not been released to everybody yet, but if you wanna try them out, you can sign up for the beta version of Cricut Design Space. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is go over here to um, the menu up in the upper left, go down to settings, and then here under application experience, choose beta. Now it will restart your Cricut Design Space. So you wanna make sure you have saved anything that you're working on, um, but it will reload and then you'll be in the beta version and you'll be able to see all of these tools. In this update, the layers panel got a bit of a makeover, but it's very similar to what it was before. So you can see it looks a little bit different here. Um, there's no um, lines separating the different layers, um, but up here is color sync, just like you had before. And you have your tools um, like group and ungroup here, um, duplicate and delete. And then you have all of your layers here. And then at the bottom, you have the tools that you should be familiar with, slice, attach, flatten, and contour. But then there is this new tool down here called combine. And this is where four new tools live along with the weld tool, um, which you may be familiar with. So let's talk about these new combine tools. For this example, I'm going to be using these overlapping circles. They're very simple shapes, but it gives you a pretty good idea of what each of these tools can do. So let's start over here in the upper left with this first set. So I'm going to select both, and then I'm going to hit combine, and then you'll see a new menu pop up. Here we have weld, which you may be familiar with, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. So let's start with weld. We know what this does, right? This creates one single shape. So you can see that now we have one cut line around the outside and then up here in the layers panel at the top, we have a weld result. Um, this can't really be undone. You can undo it right after you do it, but if you save or close Cricut Design Space, you can't go back to something being unwelded. That brings us to the Unite tool, which is a lot like the weld tool, but trust me, it's so much cooler. So if you select both of these and go to combine and click Unite, it looks like we have the same result. But if you look over here in the layers panel, you'll see that it doesn't look like a weld result. It still has the two individual circles below it underneath the Unite layer. This means that you can click on one of the individual circles and you can still modify it. So you can like make it bigger and then it stays a part of the United image. You can click on it and you can move it and it stays part of the United image. This is so cool to me. Um, I love this. I don't even think there's anything in like robust design programs like Illustrator that even do this sort of thing. It's very cool. Um, it's also non-destructive, which means that you can always go back here and you can undo your Unite, leaving you with your two circles. So let's go ahead and unite these again. And let's move on to our next shape. Before we move to subtract, I wanna show you what happens when you slice. Again, this may be a tool you're familiar with. Go over here and click slice. And then you're left with a lot of overlapping layers. Um, you can see here that this created four different sliced layers. Subtract is similar to slice, but instead it just cuts that front piece out of the back piece. So if I select this down here, go to combined, click subtract, and it just gives us this one piece. You don't have all of these extra leftovers like you do with slice. Pretty easy to use here. The next tool is not like any tool that's in Cricut Design Space. It is called intersect. So if we go over here and we intersect, it leaves only the parts of the shapes that were overlapping. So the two circles were overlapping in this sort of football shape, and that's what we're left with. And then over here we have the exclude tool, which is basically the opposite of the intersect tool. So if we do this, it leaves us with everything except where it was overlapping. So these are the new tools. We have Unite, Subtract, Intersect, and Exclude. I could stop this video here, but I think it would be helpful to actually get some more sort of real life experience of how you might use these tools. For example, you're probably not making a bunch of overlapped circles. So let's pop over to a couple different screens and I'll show you some examples. First step is Unite. So I've got a bunch of overlapping stars here. And if you wanna click on them and click Unite, you'll see that it basically welds them together. But again, over here in the layers panel, you can see that all of these stars remain their individual layers. That means when I click on one of these stars, I can make it bigger, for example. And then if I click on it again, I could move it. If I click on it again, I could rotate it. If I click on it again, I could delete it. All of this means that you have a lot more control of the welding process and it's non-destructive, meaning that you're not gonna ever regret welding your project. One of the other cool things you can do is you can add another shape. 
So let's say we wanted to add another star to this, make it kind of big. If I just drag it under here into this unite, it will unite it as part of my project. And then I can move it wherever I'd like. I think this is just a really cool tool. Um, I'm really excited about it and I hope you guys are too. All right, let's go and look at subtract. Subtract is very similar to slice. So to start, I'm actually going to slice this so you can kind of see what it's going to do. So if we select both here and we click slice, we're gonna end up with three different layers here. We'll end up with a pink party, we'll end up with a darker pink party, and then we'll end up with the actual cutout. Now if we use subtract, it will actually just slice that top layer out of the bottom layer. Now you don't have to deal with all of those other layers. This is really great for making stencils and those sorts of things, other things with cutouts. You're just not having to deal with all of those extra layers that usually you just have to delete. It's just a much faster process. Our next example is Intersect. And I will be honest, this is not a tool that I think I will use a lot. I don't tend to use it in the other design programs that I use, but it's kind of handy um, for a very certain specific type of, <laughs> of image that you may be wanting to make. So for this image, I'm using this sort of confetti image um, on top of a heart from the Basic Shapes panel. Intersect leaves only the places that the confetti and the heart will overlap. So if I select both here and click Intersect, you'll see that I'm left with basically a confetti shaped heart or a heart shaped confetti actually. Um, so there are some uses for this. I don't think this tool is quite as useful as maybe Unite or Subtract, but you may find uses for it. And if you do, I would love to hear about them in the comments. Finally, we have Exclude. Um, I like this one a little bit more than Intersect. I think I will use it a little bit more, but basically it's the opposite of Intersect. So instead of everything that's overlapping remaining, everything that is not overlapping remains. So if we select both of these and we click Exclude, you'll see that everything that wasn't overlapping remains, whereas everything that was overlapping here is cut out. But you even have like the top of this age and you know the rest of happy birthday here. It's a cute effect. Um, I think it works really well with things like monograms and other stuff like that. So this is one that I think I will use a little bit more. And there you have it. Those are the four new tools in Cricut Design Space. I wanted to point out one more thing before we go here. If you've used one of these tools, you can always go back to the combine menu and then you can undo. You can undo any of these um, images here. You can undo, subtract, intersect, exclude all of them. If you want to make this change permanent, you can go here to combine to merge layers. This will remove the layers and make it one single layer. I wouldn't do this unless you're sure it is really what you want to do. Um, I don't really see any downside to actually keeping all of those extra layers underneath each of the actions, um, th unless maybe you are sharing it with somebody else and it might confuse them. But I would always rather be able to go in and edit those individual pieces versus having it merged into a single layer. I hope you found this tutorial on using the new Cricut Combined tools helpful. If you have any questions about these tools, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can answer them. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you want more weekly Cricut content, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you next week.